Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope everybody's having a good day. I got the second installment of our monthly recap videos. We're going to be looking at the top 15 80s and 90s cards that sold in September. We'll be looking on eBay and all the major auction houses for this list. As mentioned with the vintage one, September was a little light with major auctions, but we'll see how the 80s and 90s did. All right, let's get into it. In the 15th spot from 1986 Fleer, we have Dominic Wilkins' rookie card. Rated Gem Mint PSA 10. This car sold on eBay for $15,200. This is the seventh highest sale for this card, with the record being $23,100 from February. And this card is a pop of 93. In the 14th spot from 1996, Skybox EX 2000, we have the Michael Jordan Credentials card, graded a Near Mint Mint BGS 8. This card is sold on eBay for $17,103. This card is serial number to 499, and this copy had subgrades of 9.5 for corners and edges, and 8 for surface and a 7.5 for centering. This card is a pop of 35 in a BGS 8 slab, and there are 21 graded higher with the highest being 2 Gem Mint BGS 9.5s. In the 13th spot from 1998 SPX Finite Spectrum, we have the Michael Jordan Finite Excellence, graded a Near Mint Mint Plus BGS 8.5, and is sold at Mile High Card Company for $17,745.21. This card is number 1 out of 25. The Finite Excellence cards were hand numbered to 25. And subgrades a 9.5 for centering a surface, 9 for edges, and an 8 for corners. It's a pop of 5 in a BGS 8.5 slab, and there are 4 graded higher, with the highest being 1 Gem Mint BGS 9.5. In the number 12 spot from 1998 NBA Hoops, we have the Michael Jordan Slam Bam Zinsert in raw condition and sold on eBay for $20,000. This card is serial number 29 out of 100, and that is a huge price for a raw card. I'd be concerned about the authenticity of it. In the number 11 spot, from 1996 Topps Chrome, we have the Kobe Bryant Rookie Card Refractor, graded to Mint BGS 9. This card is sold on eBay for $23,600. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners and edges and then 8.5 for surface. It's a pop of 82 in a mint slab and there are 103 graded higher with the highest being two perfect black labels. In the number 10 spot from 1997 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Game Jersey card graded in mint SGC 9 and this card is sold at Leland's for $24,948. This card is a pop of 5 in a mint SGC slab, and there are none graded higher. This card number GJ13, and there's a GJ13S, which is autographed and hand numbered, and those are 7 figure cards. In the number 9 spot from 1993 Upper Deck SP, we have the Derek Jeter Rookie Card Auto. Rated a mint BGS 9 with a 10 grade for the auto. This car is sold on eBay for $25,100. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering edges and surface and an 8.5 for corners. In the number 8 spot from 1989 Upper Deck, we have the Ken Griffey Jr. Autograph Rookie Card. Graded a pristine BGS 10 with a 10 grade for the auto. This card sold on eBay for $30,100. Subgrades were 10 for centering edges and surface and a 9.5 for corners. In the number 7 spot from 1997 Fleer Ultra, we have the Kobe Bryant Platinum Medallion graded at Gem Mint BGS 9.5. And it's sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $63,000. This card is serial number 69 out of 100. And it had subgrades of 10 for centering, 9.5 for corners and edges, and a 9 for surface. It's a low pop of only 3 and there are none graded higher. 
In the number six spot from 1997 Pinnacle Certified. We have the Ken Griffey Jr. Certified Gold Team Mirror in raw condition and it sold for $65,322 on eBay. Could you imagine spending that much money for a raw card on eBay? These are super rare inserts with a stated production of only 25. Hello Junk Wax Investor community. I'm excited to announce an affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. Alright let's see what we got in the top 5. First up from 1997 Upper Deck we have another one of these Michael Jordan Game Jersey Relic Cards. This one autographed. And it was graded at PSA 7 with a 9 grade for the auto. This card sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $66,000. This card is not the one that's autographed and hand numbered which sells for 7 figures. This is one of the regular game jersey ones and it was autographed after the fact. But as an autographed PSA 7 it's a pop of 3 and there are none graded higher. In the number 4 spot from 1984 star we have the Michael Jordan pre-rookie card number 101. This is a flight school autograph graded a BGS 8 with a 10 grade for the auto. This card is sold at PWCC's premier auction for $72,000. Subgrades were 9 for surface, 8.5 for corners, 8 for centering and edges. Alright, moving on, we have a tie for the second spot. From 1986 Fleer, we have the Michael Jordan Rookie Card Sticker, graded at Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $78,000. This card is a pop of 121 in a Gem Mint slab. And earlier in the year, it was selling for over $200,000, so it's definitely came down quite a bit since then. Also in that number two spot from 1998 Skybox Molten Metal, we have the Kobe Bryant Supernatural Fusion, graded a mint BGS 9. This card sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $78,000. This is number 18 out of 40, and it has a pop of 8, and there are none graded higher. Subgrades were 10 for centering, 9.5 for surface, and 9 for edges, and 8.5 for corners. Pretty awesome looking card. And top in the list from 1986 Fleer, we have the iconic Michael Jordan rookie card, graded Gem Mint PSA 10. This copy sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $264,000. Pop of this card is up to 319 now, and nowhere near the record. That was at another PWCC Premier Auction a couple months ago of $840,000, but that was for a card with eye appeal of superior, which is supposed to be top 5% for the grade. All right, that's it for the top 15. The total was $860,118. September was definitely a tough month. 80s and 90s, that was the lowest total we've had since the beginning of the year. But I know already from the October auctions that have ended, we'll definitely have a turnaround here for the next one. One more video left, we got Moderns, see if the Modern cards can save us for the month. But I think that we will be trending pretty low for the total. Alright, let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also take a second and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.